Well, good morning. My monthly video message is coming to you today from the Northeast Employee Fitness Center. I wanted to show those who did not have the opportunity to attend the open house a couple weeks ago the exercise facility that was created just for you. It is located in a portion of the former administration building at 10333 Broadway that also houses the Northeast Police Department. It has updated and modern exercise equipment, men's and women's changing rooms and showers, and extended hours of operation. The best thing about this is that the Northeast employees can use it for free. This fitness center is part of Northeast's continuing efforts to foster a culture of health and wellness among our students, staff, and community. In addition to the fitness center, the BAC tennis courts and Bill Walker pool are also available free to eligible Northeast employees with a badge. Plus, many of our schools have tracks available to you. Call the number at the bottom of the screen for more information regarding these sites. Or revisit the Northeast Employee Newsletter and click on the wellness link for a number of health-related articles. In fact, you can read about the fitness center in the most recent employee newsletter. Meanwhile, Northeast has three teams participating in the American Lung Association's Fight for Air 5K Run at SeaWorld this weekend. I would like to wish the teams luck and thank them for their efforts to raise funds for such an important cause. May is National Physical Fitness and Sports Month. If you don't already, please consider adding exercise and regular physical activity to your schedule. Who knows? It just may become a healthy routine for you. I would like to congratulate the Reagan girls soccer team for its efforts against the two-time defending champs Plano West in Georgetown last weekend. They may have lost the state soccer competition, but they also ended the season as the regional champions. We are all so proud of them. Good luck to the Reagan and Churchill boys golf teams as they prepare for the state tournament. The Reagan girls golf team also advances. The tournament is at Onion Creek next week. We also have the Reagan boys doubles and the Johnson girls singles tennis teams advancing to state next week as well. We wish them all luck and watch this blog for updates. Have a great day. See you next time.